Hiya, welcome back to my channel. This is Hinny. My name is Hinny. Um, and welcome if you're new too. Please do subscribe to this channel. Give it a thumbs up if you like what I do. Check out the description below if you'd like a reading with me or to inquire. And I'm hoping Jupiter is on my side today as my computer battery is running low. <laughs> so let's see if we have some luck. And yes, we are continuing my Ascendant or Rising Sign series with Sagittarius rising now. Woo, Sagittarius. And um, yeah, this is for the rising sign or the ascendant sign only. It's not for Sagittarius sun, although you might find some crossover, but it's not designed for Sagittarius sun. Sagittarius rising, ascendant only. Uh, leave a comment below if you are a Sag rising or ascendant, or you have one in your family, in your friendship circle, in your life. Maybe your partner is one, or you have a favorite celebrity, one of my favorite celebrities, probably my all-time favorite celebrity who's a Sag Rising is Nelly Furtado. Uh, she has guided me so much with her music and her art and I love, love, love the energy of Sagittarius. It's currently Sagittarius season as I record this and um, the original hinsters of my channel will know um, before I had my birth chart rectified I thought I was indeed a Sagittarius Rising. I'm actually a Chiron Rising with Cancer Rising but Chiron Rising is actually very very similar close to Sagittarius energies so if you have Chiron ascendant or Chiron in the first house you might relate to some of this as well. Chiron was uh, immortalized in the sky as the constellation Sagittarius but anyway enough of that let's get into today and the particular rising sign that is Sagittarius rising. So you, Sag rising, are the star horse. You are serendipitous magic. You are the truth shooter, the high teacher. You are the happy rider. And with Scorpio in the 12th house back there for you, feelings and the past things <laughs> uh, you know you usually run away from them you run a mile from them and um, you kind of treat them just as equally as you might a boring party or a boring partner you've had quite enough of <laughs> um, temperance as well is kind of like a quiet angel trying to help you out on your shoulder so that you don't go too overboard and so that you listen to all of your instincts and not just the instincts that sound the most fun. And like Scorpio, you do have this uncanny view of the truth and the quote unquote right way. Yet, quite unlike Scorpio, you are much more verbal about it and often quite enjoy a good public debate on the matter, the archer, you know, you like a good spar, you like a good book. Um, and your eyes as well, usually with Sagittarius rising, the eyes, I'm thinking of Adele right now, the eyes are so full of dreams and wonder. Um, she's a Sag moon, I believe, um, and, and hope and optimism. And it's very hard for people <laughs> to not get enchanted, uh, inspired, and to not want to just ride along your side or ride you. <laughs> um, interestingly, However, a lot of Sag Risings that I know and have come across, they're actually quite serious in, in some way, but they're still serious about things that they really do believe in, things they really do know, because Sagittarius is all about belief and knowledge. And Aries is in the fifth house for you. And so authenticity and you kind of throw yourselves into each other's arms and it's fiery and it's cocky and it's one of your and you know probably one of your mottos is it's true though <laughs> it's true though like i said it but it's true and right now if you're watching this video right now in sagittarius season uh, you're probably encountering some of this you know the the truth that someone just kind of spits out like oh Okay, and you kind of accept it as well because now, unlike Scorpio season, it's a bit less uncomfortable and a bit more like, okay, that kind of hurt, but I'll take it on board. It's true, you know, it's a lesson. Um, that kind of thing. Sagittarius rising abounds. They're abundant, full of that kind of thing. And your element, Sag rising, is fire. And this is double-bodied fire. So watch out for those arrows 
that you shoot which are a bit too keenly or prematurely shot and watch out for things that you think are just a joke but are actually hurtful and might even scar someone for the rest of their life and and for things that you think are innocent curiosity but which actually kind of trespass on someone else's boundaries you know uh, the archer uh, hitting the target but also breaking through a wall or a boundary crossing a line that's also Sagittarius so also um, the kind of place or space that is your element is somewhere really spacious uh, unsuffocating might even be very literally open to nature or the elements um, it's a space for some or that is full of revelry and parties even or for others it's full of creativity and realness real expression real vibes real speakers um, and, and for other people, it might just be uh, somewhere where the thirst for knowledge uh, is quenched, you know, a library for some people. And even then, it's likely you're either moving out soon <laughs> or you spend much of your time running outside of the house, away from the house, cycling, traveling, even maybe. Jupiter Sagittarius rising is your best friend. So the bigger, the better, <laughs> the more, the merrier, quite often. And more than any other rising sign, except perhaps Pisces rising, you benefit from tracking Jupiter and understanding how it affects the rhythms of your spiritual experience. And it could be quite long and epic for you because Jupiter does travel quite slowly. Uh, pay attention as well then to which sign Jupiter is transiting. Jupiter right now is about to leave Aquarius. Um, and will enter Pisces, which is a sign that it is much more comfortable in and it uh, leads the sign of Pisces, just like it does Sagittarius. Uh, but anyway, remember that Jupiter represents things like propagation and laws and divine blessings and opportunity. Jupiter also deals with expansion and big lessons and authority. So be sure that your spirit accommodates the freedom of others and doesn't try to lord over others. You know, Sagittarius rising can also be amazingly philosophical uh, an amazing representative of justice or you know you could be a very skeptical explorer try to <laughs> i would say try to find someone sagittarius rising or something that you can always bring the spoils of that exploration back to unless you really are one of those rare lone wolf spirits but i find most of you do need a partner you do need a home base to come back to in fact Jupiter is actually exalted in the sign of Cancer and so there's a lot to be gained from reciprocating and exchanging with others and establishing kind of familial bonds rather than being you know constantly on the move or constantly on tour and not really knowing others on a deeper level and, and also knowing for you knowing when to own up to your mistakes and to slow down especially when at home and revisiting the past <laughs> if you do these things you really will help yourself grow in other ways that are much more profound and also as a Sagittarius rising or Sagittarius ascendant you have a Gemini descendant or your second rising sign is Gemini so you might attract partners who are very intelligent and who can juggle a lot of skills a lot of jobs with ease they may be highly talkative they never shut up or they find it hard to settle or stay still somehow they can be brilliant at relating to and conversating with just about anyone regardless of the level or the class or status of the person it's very gemini and you being a horse you are also usually very capable of both riding alongside others and riding on your own but the thing about you is you can get quite haughty sagittarius rising and people also might think you're fickle but quite like gemini you simply understand that the real good experiences aren't consistent or predictable uh, and they kind of we depreciate the quality when we try to force something to be regular you know um, and in fact for you it's more about the the inconsistent and the chanced upon and, and maybe other people feel envious of your ability to keep on riding beyond uh, your comfort zone with Aquarius in the third house as well for you there's some big potential here for you to be popular whether that's online 
in some form on some platform or just in your personal world popular and you usually this is also interesting about you with Aquarius in the third house you usually don't want to be in debt or you know to, to owe anyone anything but this can come across this stubbornness of yours can come across as you being distant and disinterested in what people have to offer you so do be sure to find unique ways to give back that also don't make you feel tied down so that's a little uh homework for you there with taurus in the sixth house let's stick on the topic of stubbornness shall we taurus in the sixth house this can make stubbornness your sickness, Sagittarius rising. So beware of things that feel nice and safe, but which in the long run are gonna, you know, mire you down or rot you somehow. And finally, Sagittarius rising, keep exploring, but don't lose sight of the right way. And the right way develops over time and it develops lots of different layers. So if you're only 18, 19, don't worry too much about it. Maybe when your Saturn return comes in your th late 20s, 30s, you get more of this right way solidified and down. But um, don't lose sight of the right way. It's always unique uh, and magical to you. Uh, so remember that as well. And don't live too much with regrets. At the same time, don't be afraid to look back and to turn back when the people and the places who helped you run along, who pushed you along, for, you know, when they need your inspiration and when they need your generosity and when they need your guidance. Don't ever be afraid and don't forget to turn back. So that's all Sagittarius Rising. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you are a Sag Rising. I really love Sag energy. So I look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Stay safe and well. Bye bye.